Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has noted a total of 7,232 cases diagnosed in country from March 2020 to present and 97 deaths. Over the last 14 days, 1,187 new cases were noted and we have 1,430 active cases in country. The daily infection rate for the past week was 61.4 per 100,000 per day and an average of 111.2 cases per day. In relation to this new wave, from July 13, 2021 to present, a total of 1,791 persons were positive. 52% are in the age group 25 to 49 years, 58% of the cases are female. The majority of the cases are from Castries, Grosley, and Denry. Based on the contact tracing data, the majority of the cases diagnosed are related to social activities. To date, the positive cases diagnosed in country, 1.66% have been fully vaccinated. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is working to strengthen the public health system to continue managing the increased COVID-19 cases. The Pan American Health Organization has expressed support in ensuring the necessary PPE test kits and technical support is available in country. We continue to note high numbers as we test the contacts of cases. Based on the long incubation period of this virus, we forecast that these numbers will continue until we note a reduction in the rate of increase, possibly by next week. The response this last weekend by the public was promising and we ask the public to continue working with us and to exhibit responsible behavior to manage this fourth wave. This past week, the Ministry of Health has collaborated with the Minibus Association, the Chamber of Commerce, the Tourism Sector, the St. Lucia Medical and Dental Association. These meetings were targeted to discuss and strengthen collaborations and efforts in reducing the risk and managing the spike in COVID-19 cases. The Ministry of Health is also working closely with the Ministry of Education to advise on the status of school reopening. At present, we have both the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca vaccine free of charge in country at the various wellness centers and vaccination sites. Vaccination remains the most effective public health measure in managing infectious diseases. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19. It's severe forms complications, hospitalizations, and death. We continue to urge the public to access the various sites to get immunized at the soonest. Encourage your family and friends to get immunized so we can all be protected. We continue to advise the public to remain vigilant as the increased transmission and risk of the variants of concerns is present. Let us all adhere to the protocols that are put in place to keep us safe. These include regular hand washing, the use of face masks in public places, avoiding crowds and persons with respiratory symptoms, and keeping frequently touched surfaces clean. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing updates to the public as new information becomes available.